Hello there, and welcome back to the FinTech Times. We're here at day three of Money 2020 Europe in Amsterdam, and I'm very happy to be joined by Patrick Murphy, the director of the UK for 8Cap. Patrick, how are you? Good, thanks. Are you enjoying the event so far? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's been great. Lots of people to meet and, and talk to. Yes, definitely. Well, yeah. before we get uh, on to our questions and discussing your new solution, uh, why, w why don't you tell our viewers a bit about yourself and a bit about 8Cap? Cool. Yeah. So um, my name is Patrick Murphy, and I'm the director of UK for 8Cap. Uh, 8Cap is a retail derivatives broker. Um, so we offer derivatives in stocks and crypto to retail traders. And we're here at Money 2020 to launch our new embedded investing solution. So that's where we can offer that to other companies, where they can then offer that to their customers. Mm. So about that in, uh, embedded investment solution that you've brought to, to Money 2020, you've just launched it. Uh, but why don't you tell us a bit about who you're trying to target with this new solution and how, how it works? Cool, cool, yeah. So um, yeah, we're probably the only derivatives broker that's actually at Money 2020. So it's been, uh, it's been interesting to, to see the interest in, in this type of product. Um, so we're, we're targeting it at any kind of consumer payment or investment app um, that has end consumers as their customers um, and we see this as an added feature for their customers to trade so say they might use a, a PayPal to upload and withdraw funds or send it to merchants this is an additional feature for their customers to use that balance to trade crypto or stocks so and what are the uh, unique benefits of, of the solution um, so probably the biggest thing that's come across uh, is we're regulated in the F by the FCA in the UK, um, also in Europe, Australia, and the Bahamas for our rest of world clients. So that's probably one of the biggest benefits to this solution where a company that's offering payment services via a different license doesn't have to go out there and get an investment license to, up to offer trading to their customers. Um, but we also do all of the back end for the customer. So all they're really all they have to do is the UX to offer it to their customers. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. So you, you take care of all the, all the back end, all the paperwork for, for the consumer. Exactly, so mm. we've, we've been offering uh, derivatives for the last 10 plus years and we've kind of refined that. Um, the infrastructure, the technology, we've built all of that up and offer it via a single API. So a payments company or a crypto exchange can often offer derivati derivatives in a couple of weeks. Have you seen um, like interest? I mean, obviously you've, you've just launched the project, but have you have you seen specific interest from uh, more uh, a more one type of brand than another? Or uh, I mean, we've kind of we've seen an interest both from the the payments wallets, uh, digital wallets, payments accounts, and the crypto exchanges. Mm. Um, we've pretty much found that every payments wallet it needs to have crypto trading yeah. as a starting point now. Mm. So it's, you know, a lot of them have already got it, mm. um, but there's a few that are trying to get it in by this mm. year. So that was like, we spoke to them and they've, they've said, we want to have trading in by the end of the year. Can, can you help us do that? Mm. So um, definitely the payments companies are, um, are wanting that service. Well, that's fantastic. And uh, at, uh, here at Money 2020, you have, I mean, embedded has been such a, a large word that's been, that's been used, <laughs> you know, it's been very frequent. Definitely embedded in my head now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, exactly, exactly. It's embedded, it's been embedded. Um, but when we look at that sort of wider picture of embedded finance, what impact do you think the rise of the technology is having on businesses? And more importantly, where do you see it going in the future? What's the next step? Yeah, so I think I think the um, it is it is used and it's it's probably already overused. But um, I think uh, the thing that it drives is is customer experience and the then not the need to have a hundred different applications or move from one account to one website. So it's all about embedding the services into something that you're already using. Mm -hmm. So you're already using a payment account to send money um, back and forth to different countries if you're traveling. Mm -hmm. Why not 
embed this trading service in that app so then you can trade from the same place. Mm -hmm. So I think things are moving to a place where you don't have all these micro apps. You have one place that you can go to that has all the embedded services from other companies in in that um, that product. Um, one of the best examples that we discussed with uh, with a media website that does uh, that does crypto news mm. was the ability for a customer using this embedded investing solution to just be reading an article about Bitcoin or Ethereum, mm. click on that, and then trade on that straight away within the article. So. There's definitely a lot of real life solutions. It's not, it's not just a word. It's, uh, it's actually um, something that's happening. Um, so yeah, that's where we, we see it going um, in the future. Mm. Definitely in the, the consolidation of different services under, under one roof, as it were, where, uh, has become a, a major trend in the industry. For and sure. it's, been, it's been a whirlwind few days for, for 8CAP, of course, with launching your new embedded investment solution. But uh, what, what's next for ACAP? What, I mean, you've, you've launched this now, and that's out in the world. What, if we got, what can we expect from ACAP over the next 12 months? Well, I think, um, yeah, we, we've got a lot of, a lot of strong leads for, from this, and I think uh, we're probably gonna have to do a lot of hi hiring of some new developers and engineers to help uh, fulfill a lot of the integrations that uh, we're gonna be doing over the next 18 months or so. So I think it's just, just refining the solution, mm -hmm. customizing it for certain partners that we're going to be working with. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of uh, a lot of building these relationships. We've we've launched the product. We've got interest. Um, we've started those conversations, but uh, most of the work is is still to be done. And we're we're coming uh, to the end of of Money Twenty Twenty Europe now. What's for you has been a highlight? I mean, you've been on stage. You've you've talked to lots of people. Yeah. What's uh, one highlight for you? Probably the highlight was uh, was finishing my speech on the first yeah, day, yeah. so I could actually uh, take a breath and relax. Um, yeah, it was the first time for my myself personally uh, speaking at a conference, so oh. a bit nerve wracking on the on the first day, but uh, but it all went really well, and uh, we actually had a couple of people come up to us after the speech to. Uh, to, to take a look at the product. So I must have been able to actually mm. explain it in a reasonable way. Mm, that's good. Um, so yeah, that was that was probably the highlight, mm. um, the speech and also having it done. Yeah, you were, you were very fortunate to have it uh, over and finished on the first day. I, yeah. I would hate to have something like that on the third day at the very end. And yeah, yeah it was, um, well, you, you've done very well and I hope to see you again uh, very, very soon at another Money 2020 event. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, Patrick Murphy. Thanks thank a lot. Thank you very much. Cheers.